Psalm 103 from verse 1 to 5. Psalm 103 from verse 1 to 5. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul. Now, if you read that scripture, it says all that is within me. Within. Within. Everything inside you should join to celebrate God. That means your intestines should join to celebrate God. Your liver should join to celebrate God. Your heart should join to celebrate God. Your kidneys should join to celebrate God. So every time we are jumping and leaping in praise, everything outside and inside is praising God. That's why your liver will not fail. Come on, are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why your kidney is not permitted to fail. That's why you are not permitted to have heart attack. You cannot praise God with everything inside you and it will fail. Hi there. This is Elvis, your host on this platform, The Breakthrough Nest. In case you are still to join this Breakthrough family, please kindly hit on the subscription button below and the notification bell so that you will be the first to be notified when a new video is uploaded. So why not stay tuned, relax and enjoy the video. Thanksgiving provokes supernatural multiplication. 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 Jeremiah 30 and verse 19. And out of them, every one of them, shall proceed thanksgiving. And watch this. And the voice of them that make merry, not the voice of complain, not the voice of murmuring. So God is checking what kind of voice is coming out. Don't think there's everyone that is talking in thanksgiving that is actually thanking God. There are some that complain in the place of thanksgiving. Father, I thank you. But by now, things should have changed though. Father, yet I give you all the glory. They are waving their hands to Jesus. Lord, I just bless your name. You have tried at least. You have tried. I expected 10, but I got one. You tried. So they are complaining in the midst of thanksgiving. By now, I should have been promoted. But let me say thank you. At least I've not been sacked. I, I thank you. But it says, out of them shall proceed what? Thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry. And see the effect. I will multiply them. God will multiply somebody in this season. And as it begins to multiply, he said, they shall not be few. Nothing reduces in the hand of a thanksgiver. So when you have little and you want it to turn too much, what do you do? Thank him. And they shall not be few. He said, I will yet glorify them. They shall not be small. That's the secret of this commission. As we keep thanking him, he keeps glorifying us. He keeps honoring us. He keeps changing our story. Some years ago, I was privileged to pastor somewhere in the U.S. And we were searching for a property to acquire. And then we went somewhere with some leaders of the church and... We began to look at the property. And in the course of looking at the property, someone came to us and told us that some other organization had already indicated interest and they were about to close on the sale of that property. So I told the leaders, let's go back. Let's leave, let's leave it, let's go back. The following morning, the next morning, as early as 7 a.m., we saw a lineup of vehicles, these huge trucks, heavy trucks, line up of them, a couple of them packed in front of the church. So I asked, who are those ones? And they said to me, they are the owners of the property you went to see yesterday. I said, okay, take them to the conference room. And they took them to the conference room and they were there waiting. Then we took some time relaxing, allowing them to wait. <laughs> And then got to the conference room and they all got up. Good morning, good morning. What can we do for you? Caucasians, all of them. And they said, we are the owners of the property you came to see yesterday. I said, we are, but we were told that some other people are already closing on the property. They said, yes, that is true. But when we heard that Winners Chapel came yesterday. Come on, come on. You are not hearing what I'm saying. When we heard... We heard that Winners Chapel came yesterday and they are interested. We decided to come by ourselves. That is far away land. And um, I began to adjust the way I sat down on my chair. 
And I said to them, why? Why? They said, we know you. We know the church. We know that for others, after they close, they have to go and wait for a bank to borrow their money to pay. But we know Winners Chapel that if you say you want to buy, you can pay us today. So, so, so I, said, I said to them, you are not wrong. You are not wrong. And it will glorify them. They shall not be small. God will decorate somebody in this season. As a commission, we have enjoyed glorification. And you belong to this church family. Shame will never come near your tabernacle. You are shouting amen. Your voice is the loudest. So when the testimony and the breakthrough look small, the secret to multiplication is what? Thanksgiving. Why do we give thanks? We owe God timely thanks to have our blessings preserved. We owe God timely thanks to have our blessings preserved. So every time you receive fresh blessings and you want that blessing preserved, add the preservative of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a spiritual preservative. It elongates the lifespan of the blessing. Think of this in the natural. Many of us are acquainted with tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. Looking so yummy. You put it on this side. And you take the tin tomatoes or the canned tomatoes and you put it on the other side. They don't have equal lifespan. Yet the same product. The fresh one at most can last between two to five days. But the one with the preservative, the one that is canned and packaged, can last between 12 to 18 months. So the reason why so many testimonies end between 2 to 5 days is because preservative of thanksgiving is not added. Are you hearing what the word is saying? So every time you want the testimony prolonged, the act of God extended, simply add the preservative of thanksgiving. Jeremiah chapter 13, from verse 15 to 17. He said, hear ye, and give ear. Be not proud. Be not proud. He says, give glory to the Lord your God before he causes darkness. And before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. Before he corrupts the blessing. Before he allows the tomatoes to spoil. Add the preservative. Of thanksgiving. Number four. Caution. Never feel too big to play before God. Never feel too big to dance before God. He's the reason behind our existence. Some days ago. A medical doctor was testifying. And he was sharing a story and he said some years ago there was an accident and they brought in all of the, the victims of the accident. Some had died. Others were injured. And they were running helter skelter trying to salvage those that were injured. Now in his own testimony he said all of a sudden as they were trying to treat all the ones that were still alive they began to hear an alarm clock. And they went to check. Lo and behold the alarm was in the pocket of one of them that had died. And then he discovered and reflected that the alarm clock that used to wake him before now could not wake him now. And I remember the statement the resident pastor often shares that if you think that you wake up because of your alarm clock, take the alarm clock to the mortuary, put it there, let it sound, let it resound, and see how many will wake up. I lay me down, I slept, I awoke because the Lord sustained me. So never feel too big to play before the Lord. Our Father began to unveil in this season the wonders and the mystery in praise. And he made a profound statement. And this statement has stuck to my spirit so strong. He said, God answers thanksgiving faster than it does intercessions and supplications. And when he said this statement, I said... Is it not wisdom 
to turn every of your intercession and supplication into thanksgiving. Because what you are doing in thanksgiving, you are committing the integrity of God. And you are saying, for instance, Father, I thank you because 2023 will end well for me. He has no choice but to make it end well for you. Are you hearing what the word is saying? My father, I thank you because I'm crossing into 2024 already pregnant. And he begins to move all forces in heaven to ensure that this word you have thanked him for is a done deal. Think about this in the natural. Your son begins to thank you. Every morning he said, Daddy, thank you for that bicycle. You have not bought the bicycle yet. He said, Daddy, I thank you for the bicycle. He said, I've not bought it. He said, I know, but I'm thanking you. Are you hearing what this, the word is saying? That, then tomorrow, he wakes up again. First thing in the morning, he comes to your room and knocks the door. And you say, yes, son, what is it? He said, Daddy, thank you for the bicycle. You look at your wife. I've not bought this bicycle yet. What is this boy's challenge? He said, Daddy, I thank you. And he's dancing back to his room. The third day, he comes again. Daddy, I thank you. What again? He said, for the bicycle. You tell your wife, I better go buy this bicycle. I better go buy this bicycle. I better go buy this bicycle. So as we keep thanking him, we commit him. He has no choice. His integrity is on the line. Because of you, your own household will be saved. Because of your praise, your family will be rescued. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video. I also like you to know that there is no breakthrough without an action. In fact, there is no product without a process. So we admonish you. Put those things to work and breakthrough will be evident in your life. And in case you have engaged some of the insights shared here on this platform and you have received breakthrough, please kindly share with us so that others can also benefit from it. If you enjoyed this episode, kindly hit on the subscription button below if you haven't done so and the notification bell and you shall be notified when a new video is uploaded. You can like and share with friends and loved ones. You can as well leave us a comment and we will be glad to continue the discussion on the comment section. Until we meet again, keep watching our videos and stay tuned for the next video. God bless you. Thank you.